There's nothing we can do about doomsday from deep space. But this next scenario is a man-made catastrophe that could be averted with just a flick of a switch. This is someone pushing a button. This is a decision by a human being saying, today we're going to end everyone's life, and we're going to do it by lunchtime. The first thing that happens is a blinding flash. It fills the horizon in front of you. The next thing that happens is an intense wave of heat that can literally reduce things to their constituent atoms. The oxygen is sucked out of your lungs. The vacuum sucks up all of the debris into itself, creating a huge column of irradiated debris. Nuclear war is the ultimate doomsday scenario. By 1983, the Cold War had reignited. There were new nuclear systems coming online, both in the United States and the Soviet Union, and there was an aggressive rhetoric coming out of both Washington and Moscow. Both sides now are putting weapons into place that can reach each other within seven, eight minutes, reducing the amount of time for a decision about whether or not to begin a nuclear war, whether or not to incinerate the entire northern hemisphere from minutes to seconds. Both sides now have created a situation where a first strike is not only possible, it's plausible. It got the Soviets thinking, if the US did attack us and our entire leadership was wiped out, how would we retaliate? They came up with a plan, a fail-safe called Perimeter. They create a computer that would be turned on in a crisis. And once they flip that system on, the computer would then look for what the Soviets believed would be signs of a nuclear attack. Things like a massive change in air pressure, extreme light, radioactivity. If the computer decides that it has enough data and that an attack has taken place, then it knows what it's supposed to do next. The first thing it does is check the communication lines to work out if there's anyone alive and in charge of the Soviet military. If they're not alive, then it takes over. It sends signals to all of the remaining silos throughout the rest of the Soviet Union ordering them all to launch all of their weapons. The official name of this system is Perimeter, but it's known informally in the Kremlin as the dead hand. Literally, the dead hand, not of a person, but of a machine. It means that when everyone else is dead, there's still a mechanism that's able to press the button and exact the Soviet Union's ultimate revenge against 300 million Americans. The ultimate doomsday machine. It's mad, but it's true. It may not be the end of the planet, but it would be a catastrophic event unseen in human history. The secret is the damn thing might still be plugged in and switched on. The most devastating doomsdays are yet to come. Destruction of the planet from both Earth and space.